The Mazda CX-9 is already a favourite in the car sales office. It won our 2016 Car of the Year award and it regularly finishes at the top of the list in our multi-car comparison tests. For 2019, Mazda has updated its seven-seat SUV in a bid to try and address some of the criticisms of its predecessors. Let's check it out. First of all, there is a new grade for 2019, the Yazami LE. It is the fifth CX-9 derivative, and according to Mazda, it takes the seven-seater to a new level of luxury. Elsewhere, the CX-9 range receives an ever so light nip and tuck. Entry for the range has increased $1,100 to $44,990 plus on-road cost. The Azami LE, seen here, takes pricing right into European territory at $66,490. Now I actually lived with a CX-9 for about six months last year and I've got to say the gripes that I did have were very minor in nature. So things like no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, a very finicky MZD Connect system and the fact that you could only get a digital speedo if you opted for a variant with the optional head-up display. But it seems Mazda has now listened, not just to me, but to customers in general. The Japanese manufacturer has revisited its equipment catalogue, fitting every new CX-9 with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, along with extending its iActive safety suite to every model in the range, so box tick there. The CX-9 has also undergone slight revisions to improve its on-road noise and suspension compliance. There have never been too many complaints from the rear seat, and it's easy to see why. The second row of the CX-9 has adequate shoulder, head, and knee room, along with good incidental storage, USB ports, and in the case of these higher spec models, integrated sunshades. In terms of child seats, there are five ISOFIX attachments across the second and third rows, which is great. And as for the driver, well look, they're not likely to be disappointed either. Under the bonnet, the CX-9 continues with an unchanged 2.5-litre, four-cylinder turbo petrol engine. It's a genuinely impressive unit, offering nice pickup from down low on the rev range, an adequate spread of gears, and quite a sprightly turn of speed when you do choose to put your foot down. It's actually refined in all those conditions as well. Fuel use is a little bit up for debate by comparison. The official fuel claim for the all-wheel drive variant is 8.8 litres per 100 k's. You're probably likely to use closer to 10 litres in a mix of conditions. Overall, the CX-9 continues to lead its segment in terms of ride and handling balance. It has this uncanny ability to shrink wrap itself around the driver despite being more than five metres long and tipping the scales at about two tonnes. I've got to say, like it's very supple over bumps as well, and yet it still remains really light on its feet. In summary, this is a genuinely enjoyable seven-seat SUV to drive, and you can't say that about too many of the CX-9's competitors. The CX-9 has very few carryover gripes. The MZD Connect infotainment system is probably fussier than it needs to be, while the car's two-ton towing capacity may turn away some buyers. The core appeal of the updated CX-9 is the same as what it always has been. This car is genuinely good at fairing around a family in comfort, safety and refinement. In fact, arguably better than anything else at this price point. 